Hey, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. For those of you who have heard the intro, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and lady, ladies and gents, and you notice that I do it on every video, that is the mantra for this particular channel and all my other channels. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and lady, ladies and gents, if you've never understood, I'm going to explain it one more again. There was this... No, he still exists. His name is... Well, I was going to say one, and then I decided to switch to the other one because there are two of them. And Ben Lowry was due to ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. And so I borrowed it from him, but I also borrowed it from Jermaine Dupree. Okay? And so I put the two and combinationed it together and made it my own! And so there you go with the ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and lady, ladies and gents. Now you see, ladies and gentlemen, this is Penny. Okay, this is Penny. This this is, I, I'm looking at this dog and I'm turning and looking at her right now. This is Penny. This is a Labrador. I, I don't know how they pronounce the name. Where 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 is that stupid name at? Labrador's. Okay, it's a lab pit mix but however they talk about all the different colors of the dogs ladies and gentlemen she has two white dogs okay sorry somebody's already asked for them uh but she has two white ones you would think i would keep the white ones because they're pure whatever anyway and none of these look like Max. I mean, Max looks like a bulldog. I, I am a pit bull. Uh, let's see if I can find one that looks like Max real quick, because I haven't gone through the whole thing. She has one that looks similar to this one. Ah, that's the letter. She's got, that's the one I said looks similar. None of them are white, though. She's got two all white ones. Where is the, and for those of you who need to know, they are a little bit, yeah, they're about this size. Eyes are open, walk, well, they're running now, so I got to be careful when I open the cage because they will all run out, and but they run out in packs, so they run out together, so I can push them right back inside. That's our routine. Um, and you notice when I do videos, Originally, when I was doing videos, they would hear me talking and they would, you know, start. Not anymore. They are. I like it. I don't know if I can explain it better than that, but I like the fact that as I am talking, they're quiet. And they're quiet all day long. This is how Max was when he was younger, but his face is filled completely out. Max is he's a pit bull i mean literally he literally has the size and everything of a pit bull that's why none of these dogs look like max none of them because he is he was the runt and this was this is his stature but he is man twice as big as this dog so that's max that's my buddy and max is the protector but he's also very cautious Max, he, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. We're going to talk about dogs right now. So if y'all don't want to talk about no dogs, go on now. Um, because I'm going to talk about the dogs because people have been asking. Okay. The lab pit bull mix. They're very affectionate dogs and they bond very quickly. Uh, I'm, I will say wholeheartedly. Each one of these puppies, I can only tell you I thought that there would be a problem between the mother them and myself please they almost treat me as if I'm the mother at first they didn't want to be handled but now pick them up and no problem um, they're incredibly friendly with children have no clue and will be both careful and protective I will say that that's exactly what they are they are very protective they do as they get older, you can't leave them around younger children because they're very strong. Not that they'll attack the child, but that they're very strong. They'll knock that child down. 
Uh, Max, if he was to run and hit a grown man, I promise you that grown man will take several steps backwards, if not fall. Max is a very strong dog. <laughs> and I, man, I promise you, Max is your protector. He's your, he's your security dog. Okay, it says, well, you can trust a lab pit bull mix with your children. Small children should never be left alone unsupervised with a dog. And I agree with that wholeheartedly. Not that the dog would maul the child, these lab pit mix, but I can just about assure you that, um, yeah, you know, the child, the dog will definitely overrule that child. Okay, now it says... The mix between the American Pit Bull Terrier and the Labrador Retriever parents, you can expect Labradors or Labables to be medium size. And yeah, uh, I would say 90 pounds is definitely on a high range. Max is probably about 38. If I had to weigh him and say uh, he's probably about 38, just shy of 50 pounds. Just, uh, just shy of 40 pounds, sorry, not 50 pounds. And Penny, she's about 30 pounds. You know, because the dogs keep sucking all of the, everything out of. And Penny is the taller one. Max is about probably 18 inches. Now, there you go. Uh, and the cost, ladies and gentlemen, these dogs, I paid for the mother and father $300. They were going for $600. Um, because I did buy them from a breeder. So, there you go. Uh, and let's see, what else? And I will tell you this. The training, all I can tell you is these are newborns. You don't hear all of that. This is not a kennel. You don't hear all that barking you hear when you go to a kennel. Man, I, I could not live like that. And for the last two nights, I've finally been able to stay asleep. And not have to get up and check them all the time. Um, they have let me sleep the entire night through. The mother stays outside. So I did that because when they do go with their so-called prospective owners. And no, I'm not selling them. I'm giving them away. Um, because I'm not, a, I'm not in this for money. I don't do things like that. You go back and look at my videos. See, I don't operate that way. I've never operated that way. I just... Ladies and gentlemen, I told you guys about the tent experiment. I was going to use the tents as storage. Spent over $600 for two tents. Only to find out that first, vinyl doesn't do well with the sun. And the vinyl doesn't do well with the wind. The wind was ripping these tents apart. So I had the company send me replacement tents. Two brand new tents that's been sitting out there for over six months. In a box. And I gave them away. Told the guy I can't use them. There's nothing I can do with them. I said, you told him you can take them and sell them on eBay. Literally. So that was and is how I am. Can't be any other place. Can't be any other way. There can't be any other me. I have to be me. Uh, as far as these creatures... I'll be taking pictures of them. I do have some pictures. I did take a picture of them on the phone, but, you know, I want to do the presentation. Uh, this is the way that Max and them look when they were younger. Now, I promise you, I'll, you know what, I'll end up taking a picture of Max, because you'll see that he doesn't look like any of these. And these are all Labradors, uh, pit bull mixes, or Labradors. And I think that's a dumb name. Why couldn't they call Terry? Why couldn't they just be called Terrier Labs? Because they're pit bull terriers. Or why couldn't they just be called Lab Terrier? I, I mean, you know, there's just so many other names that you don't have to twist your tongue and break your neck to try to pronounce. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I put up a video asking a question. Um, yeah, I got to finish this. And we got to minimize that. All right. I put up a video asking a question. What the? F Sorry, this wasn't supposed to. Oh, I know why that's up. Okay, I got to. We got to change my b desktop background. I, I can't have that. 
that that looks horrible to me uh let's do this one okay we're gonna do that right there that's gonna be my desktop background if you don't know about this i'm not advertising for this company i think their customer service is customer service sucks and their technical support man really sucks so uh take it at your own risk all right ladies and gentlemen let's talk for a second okay i put up a video yesterday and i just asked the question uh because see youtube does not want you talking about certain subjects no youtube has censored the entire channel youtube wants the they want to turn it into a marketing channel where you sell things and you do promotion of yourself it they want to turn it into definitely a so-called social wannabe media they want to turn YouTube into Facebook that's where YouTube is heading YouTube does not want you having commentary they don't want your opinion ladies and gentlemen if you don't understand okay I keep talking about Alex Jones Alex Jones that 49 million dollar suit that he was involved in that was all a joke go back and look at the trial look at the way the judge is questioning people okay you cannot understand how the anger that was in me her telling them that they couldn't talk about the trial afterwards of course they could do you know why they could talk about the trial after they left and including what the witnesses said? Because the media was talking about it. It was already public knowledge. Say what? It was already public knowledge. They allowed the media to talk about it. There was no gag order. Equal protection of law. You can't allow the media, the so-called press, freedom of the press, freedom of speech and then not allow the individuals who are testifying. She talked about the rule. Excuse me, the rule? Look here, I mean, a uh, woman? The rule, that's a rule. <laughs> that's not a law. I'm not here to follow your rules. I'm not under the jurisdiction of your court. You better show where the courts were given jurisdiction over the people, where a judge was given the jurisdiction over the people. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all need to get it. This is a representative government. This was never a sovereign government. The people are the sovereign. Yeah, I know I'm a sovereign. Look here, you ignorant mother. We ain't talking about you. You ain't the people. The people is a group. That's why it's the people it's not people it's the people pay attention the meaning title people lord have mercy that's been a problem people never got that everybody wanted to say sovereign you are the sovereign of your own home you're the ruler over your own destiny you are that if you choose to be that but when it comes to government you are not sovereign shall we say it again when it comes to government you are not sovereign all of you collectively are sovereign see congress was prohibited from making laws that infringes upon the rights of the people or abridge their rights the freedom of speech freedom of the press go back and read the first amendment so somebody is going after Alex Jones for defamation. Now they they technically they had a right because he was saying that the child was an actor. Okay. So sue him, which they did in two different states. Okay? Now he's crying bankruptcy. No, he's crying bankruptcy because he doesn't want to pay. Okay, he'll never pay that amount. He'll never have to. That'll go before the appeals court. It'll get overturned. It will get overturned. The reason why it will get overturned, because the judge made several mistakes. By the way, I said any experienced attorney would never have made those mistakes. 
<laughs> the attorney, the main attorney he had was new. Well, no, 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 no. Y'all don't understand. Alex went to a law firm. There was more than one attorney handling that case. He went to a law firm. Make sure y'all understand. What they normally do with law firms is they throw the junior out there. Alex should never have allowed that. This should have always have been an experienced attorney. There were too many things that the judge allowed to have happened in that case that sense never made. Trust me, it never made any sense. The fact that Alex says that the judge used to be a former prosecutor and used to be a part of Child Protective Services, which was involved in blah, 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 blah. They said Child Protective Services was involved in this, that, and the other. They didn't say the judge. They said Child Protective Services, which was involved in blah, 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 blah. And the prosecutor said blah, 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 blah. And he talking about you, ho. And... Alex Jones' attorney raised an objection, but the fool never said, excuse me, where does he say that you were involved in these things? He said Child Protective Services. Okay, so since you're allowing this to be introduced as evidence for impeachment purposes, I'm going to need a continuance so that I can get subpoenas so that we can pull their records to prove that they are involved in this. Since you're going to make this part of the trial, we might as well go ahead and let my client defend himself against these charges but nothing ladies and gentlemen look I promise you when I say I've been doing this for too long I know what normally happens in a court case that didn't happen that day that idiot sat there and didn't open his mouth and any junior attorney would know this that's why they go to law school for eight years because they're constantly debating and arguing In the last six years, five different law firms asking me to come on and be a consultant? Only because I don't think the way they think. But I know what the normal process is. Look, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who have pending lawsuits, I, I told one lady that uh, it's not my job to step in and tell people what to do because she was being kind of demanding. Like, I need to know how to do this, and I need you to do this. And she probably wasn't coming at me with that type of attitude, but yes, she was. Instead of asking the question, sir, I'm told that you have spoken about this and spoken about that. And I, I have this situation, and this is going on. No, the person came at me and said, look, hey, I got to self-surrender by Monday. I need to know, is there anything that I can do? Come on, I really need your help. People, y'all don't get to rush me. I am not here to be rushed. Now, as I told you, we have the Dun & Bradstreet account. Ladies and gentlemen, I just did a video t telling you, hold them accountable. Pull their charter. Once you bring up the fact that they're a corporation and they don't respond, then you bring it back up to, excuse me, I challenge your jurisdiction. I said that you are operating as a commercial business. Your court registry is allowed to keep interest. That means they are making a profit. Government cannot be profiteers. Government can only be public, non-profit organizations. Commerce is regulated by Congress, but Congress is not allowed to engage in commerce. Do you guys understand that? Congress can regulate commerce, but it cannot give the other branches of government the authority to operate in commerce. The government of the United States, maybe of a different country, could do that. Hold on, we're going to talk about commerce and the government in a second. Okay, let me see if I can explain it better this way. Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this right here? This is the government of the United States. And what happens, ladies and gentlemen, sorry, somebody is text messaging. Um, 
because they just needed some information and I just sent it to them. What you all don't understand, even though they have 2,768,000 people working for them, the government of the United States, okay, pay attention so that y'all understand, is not the U.S. Corporation or United States, Inc. This is their official title. 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, Northwest. Okay, what I'm trying to tell you guys is this is the service that we'll be offering people. We didn't buy this account for nothing. The reason why this costs us so much, pay attention so that you get it, is because we want this information. You see this corporate family stuff? Okay, now look. I promise you when I click on the Supreme Coat, watch this, click Supreme Coat, and I'm going to do that right there. Look at all of this. And then if I click the Supreme Coat, and then I do, what's the next one? Uh, let's do the uh, Court of Appeals. And then I'm going to expand that. And I'm going to just do, let's say we want the Federal Circuit. And we definitely want the 11th. I'm going to do the 11th, the 8th, the 10th, the 1st. Oh, my goodness. It's the 1st. It's time to get my check. And United States District Court. What the? Okay. What are they doing in the appeals section? Do you not understand? So, ladies and gentlemen, I do that. Now, watch this. Because there's a lot more. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna expand it no more because it's too much. Okay, now watch this. Download. Now it tells me it says they got nine credits in this download. Okay, so what we gonna do is C O U R T A S. Then we're going to put S-U-P, comma, D-I-S, comma, A-P-P, -P, and, yeah, we'll do it that way. And now watch this. We're going to do spreadsheet. Click, click. Generating your file download. It will download within your browser, blah, 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 blah. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the information that they charge you for. Why? Because this will give you a spreadsheet in Excel. A spreadsheet? A spreadsheet. Hold on. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Mama, I'm back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here is a spreadsheet. We're going to increase it, increase it, increase it, increase, 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 increase this. And then we're going to take this right here. Now, this is only part of the information. This is not the whole thing. This is, you see, this shows headquarters, headquarters, Court of Appeals for the Federal Court. Is it a headquarters? No. Uh huh. Let's see if we got some, let's see what's on the details. Yeah, I kind of figure because I never uh, checked details before. So we're going to slide on down here. Y'all don't mind if we slide on down. Louisville, Kentucky. Ooh, who's got the slugger? The district court is in Louisville, Kentucky. Ooh, they got a Louisville slugger. Ninth Circuit Court is Reno, Nevada. Boston, Massachusetts, First Circuit Court of Appeals. This is the Tenth Circuit Court of Appeals. Uh, you know what? I don't know who Kansas City, Misery. Misery. I was in Misery. Okay. Now, let's continue. Don't care about employees. What we care about is these bits and pieces of information. They'll say, well, you can't prove that having a dunce number is blah, 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 blah. Oh, I don't need to prove it. But thank you for raising a controversy. Because now you have given me the right to ask for subpoenas in order to prove it. So thank you very much for opening your big mouth and creating a controversy for which I have the right to subpoenas to be able to prove exactly what I've just stated. 
and your prima facie evidence the fact that they do have a dunce number because dunce only deals with profiteering corporation that's why it talks about that now we have this and then we print up hold on let me make sure y'all understand we have this and then for each one of these we print up what's called the one-stop information let's go to one stop let me see y'all have any UCC's US government now these are people who have filed pay attention these are people who have filed claims against the United States government okay they have filed UCC liens on the US government Mr. Cooper y'all know Mr. Cooper don't y'all y'all know Mr. Cooper the company they filed a lien against the United States ain't that interesting let's see who else what other company now remember oh what government are you hold on let me make sure secure party the government of who I can't see who this is y'all because it ain't showing me the whole list but it shows in 2020 somebody decided we gonna file on these mother and they ain't nothing they can do about it so let's see if we can go ahead and save this as a PDF I don't know if it's gonna give me we're gonna save it uh, let's see no not that's the wrong one this is the right one uh, let's see this is the one-stop report for the United States and what I do is I get rid of the one-stop and I do UCC uh oh that's USS United States Starship do, 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 do. and give it a second it's downloading now and let's see what we get here I'm looking for the one that says the government of something so let's see where are you whoa oh oh this is all of them this is not just the ones we saw and I was like whoa because we weren't seeing all of that originally the government of the United States that's what it is the government wait a minute how the government of the United States go put a lien on themselves I'm not joking ladies and gentlemen let's see and this one is a republic let's see and no it's not the government of the United States putting a lien on themselves the United States government is the the main party I need to see who that government was I did see the Republic of something at the bottom because uh, you know we started from the bottom now we made it to the top Republic Bank okay but well, where's the one for the government of I don't see it y'all I did see it on the original but I don't see it here the global estate private business trust okay McBride private national non-US citizen James Thomas oh Thomas McBride okay all right I remember mr. McBride haven't heard anything from him in a long time uh, give me a second oh there's that government thing the government of the German Republic a Reich <laughs> then we know that this is not the government that's just the name of a corporation somebody put together okay all right that takes care of that just needed to find that out ladies and gentlemen so we include this plus we include the one-stop information what's one-stop information well shall I show you let's go ahead and go to the one-stop information we ain't gonna keep this going on and on and on that's downloads I need doc downloads hold on one second 
One second. One second. Daddy, I like that. The documents. Here, okay. We're going to click on this one. I don't know who this is. I just clicked on it because it's one of those we just going to click on it. Would you pop up? Okay, this is a report. Government of the United States is only a part of it. This is not the whole thing. Well, no, this is the government of the United States. This is not like the Ninth Circuit and all of that. This is just the government of the United States, and it lists all the things that are in here. And here's the government of the United States information. Okay, the reason why we include this is because this is the preponderance of evidence to the contrary. Do we need an EIN number? No. Can we get an EIN number? Yes, but we don't care about an EIN number. EIN number just means that they are a corporation and all governments must be a corporation. Every government must be a corporation. Okay? Just understand that. Every government must be a corporation. Not going to explain it again. It takes too much time for the intelligent people for us to explain that. Hey, you know Brian Stauffer? Uh-huh. He's, look at that. A chief petty officer. What the? Chief petty officer. Medicaid branch, operations chief, battalion, maintenance team chief. Ladies and gentlemen, pay attention. It is military. Not, I didn't say it. They said it. Okay? Their competitors, the executive office of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the executive office of the state of Marine. Marine? Marines. It's the Marines. Man! No, Maine. Man! Stop playing! Marines. Give me my R. Marines. Anyway. Executive Office of the State of... Raholdi? Raholdi? Man, I know Raholdi! Hey, Raholdi, what's up, man? What? Road? That don't spell road. They, man, road don't have no H in it. And where's the A at? That ain't road. I, I'm sorry, y'all. He ain't had, no, he ain't had his medication this morning. Y'all just be careful with him, okay? Take him slow. All right. Now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. These individuals are at the government of the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys know that a military officer cannot be a part of the government of the United States? The military is foreign to the United States. Hey, by the way, I called this number right here. <laughs> Guess what? Uh, the White House. How may I help you? I did not know it was for the White House. It said the government of the United States, so I did not know it was for the White House. Okay, and so I called, and sure enough, I just had to apologize to the guy and say, I wasn't expecting to actually reach the White House. I'm not joking. So, uh, you wasn't even joking when I did it. I was just researching. Executive, chief executive officer at the government of the United States. Can't be a chief executive officer. That's the president. Huh? Somebody? Anybody? Huh? Hmm? CEO at the government of the United States. CEO at the government of the United States. Hey, Mr. John L., you're the president? Ladies and gentlemen, I didn't write that. And all you got to do is just ask the question. Now you can subpoena the information once somebody challenges what you've just stated. I didn't do this, ladies and gentlemen. They did this. Look, here's Congress. Here's Congress's dunce number. Okay? And then we got the Supreme Court. Now remember, it's the United States Supreme Court. Do not think that this is Supreme Court United States. The comma means this comes first when you're speaking it. United States Supreme Court. This is the corporation. This is not the Supreme Court of the United States. SCOTUS. Okay? Now, this one, I don't know what this is. 31 con logist. I don't know what that junk is. Remember my request. Take me where I'm supposed to be. Don't know why y'all taking so long. Oh, you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I'm not logged in here, so give me copy. Stop it. This, these are my girls, the braids. Man, they Bohemian Rhapsody. Okay, 
ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and lady, lady and dent. I gotta remember which one I was in. I, was it in this one? I'm logged out, so it wasn't that one. Was it in this one? I'm not knowing that wasn't in that one. So it's gotta be this one. Gotta be. Gotta close this so I can get back there. There we go. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? Cause we can get back to this anytime. Paste. Enter. Lean on me when you're not strong. It didn't. It didn't do it. So let's see if I can click on the gunnery. Uh, I gotta click back again. This is where I'm gonna be. It's gonna be this one right here. Okay. I don't know what 31 cons logistics because I know that that's logistics, but I don't know who. It's a nonprofit subsidiary. But look at this right here. That's a foreign phone number, ladies and gentlemen. Italy. What the. Wait, hold on, people. What? And look, USA government. But Italy. What the flying? Yes, I want this. Lean on me. Sorry, the instrumental for lean on me is in my background. I want this report. You guys are seeing it just like me for the first. I did not know. I'd seen it before. I just didn't click on it. There was no reason for me to click on it, ladies and gentlemen. But I promise you I'm clicking on it now. What's Italy doing being a part of the United States government? Y'all don't understand? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to show it to y'all so y'all get it. We're going to do everything. Graphics, headers, and footers. It's going to take a second for the preview. That's what it's waiting on. Because, it, you know, it's got a lot of pictures and images and things. Okay. Yeah, we can do it that way. That's the way we have it. Okay. Let me show y'all something. So that y'all, we're going to click back. We're not going to click forward. We're going to click back. Government of the United States. Government of the United States. This is under the government of the United States. Impossible. How is Italy or any place in Italy part of the government of the United States. Parent company, government of the United States. Interesting. National security and international affairs. Ah, uh, Really? Establishments of the United States and foreign governments primarily engaged in international affairs and programs related to other nations and peoples. Ain't that interesting? Joshua Hamilton, he's the general manager? I don't know that fool. Foreign affairs, international affairs, located in Italy. I can only tell you it's interesting to me. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's why this information is so important. That's why proving that they are corporations. Look, police officer pulls me over, gives me a ticket. The only thing I do is I pull up the information regarding that police officer and his organization, that corporation he works for. And once I pull up that information regarding that police officer, his organization, and that corporation he works for, now I just bring up the fact that his corporation is a private corporation, even though they receive public funding. And that he, when he was stopping me, was not operating under his public capacity, but operating under his corporate private capacity. Why? Because his corporation engages in commerce. They cannot be public while engaging in commerce. Why? Because they cannot make a profit. This is not something you argue with, with a judge. You say to the judge, United States is a representative government. Show me where the government can make a profit. Just that's all. That's all you have to say. Why? Okay, then where are, the, are my dividends? Where's my money? You mother are making a profit and I'm not getting any money? I'm sitting up here struggling when I got money coming to me? What the? That's how you handle that. The government can't make a profit because if it made a profit, they would have to generate that money back to the public whose taxes generates their income. 
Are you not understanding that? That's why the United States can't make a profit. They are a public organization. They represent the interests of the public. If they made a profit, it would have to go back to the public. It couldn't go to a general fund. Why? Because the public never voted to have something go to a general fund. What I was trying to explain earlier, I'll explain it now and I'll let you guys get back to your day. Congress. When they formed Congress, Congress is a representative government. Congress and each state was supposed to go back to the people and say, hey, this is what we're getting ready to vote on. If you guys want us to say yay or nay, you need to let us know. Here, we're having this vote, and you just let us know, and the majority, whatever y'all decide, that's what we're going to take back. That's how Congress is supposed to work. The congressmen are not supposed to be taking kickbacks and all that to sway their vote. They don't vote based on their opinion. They changed that, y'all, and y'all didn't pay attention. It's a representative government. You're not hiring those representatives to do whatever they want. They're supposed to be there to represent the public's interest. I don't get involved in politics. I could care less about politics. What I'm explaining to you is the law and the way things were supposed to go. It was a representative government. They were never given the authority to make law. They made law based upon what the people wanted, not what they wanted. We were never supposed to have these statutes and codes and all of this other junk going on. Never. It was supposed to be the will of the people, for the people, by the people, of the people. But people, y'all got away from it. But you can still get their attention by proving that they are private corporations. Private corporations are nowhere delegated any authority to operate as government. Once they engage in commerce, they're treated as any other corporation. We already done showed y'all that. So that's why we're providing that information. And ladies and gentlemen, if we didn't think it was beneficial enough, I would not have spent so far for that account $3,000. That account costs $5,500. I couldn't pay it all up front. I ain't rich. You follow me? Which is why we have no other choice but to charge people for access to information. Now, if you can get it from someplace else, go right ahead. You don't need to come to us. This ain't about the money. This ain't about the money. This is about... You need the information. You got cases where somebody's bringing a ticket or something, or somebody's trying to charge you this or charge you that. This is how you handle that. They're not government. You have a right to be before government. You have a right to petition government. You have a right to access government. That's how you handle that. All right, I got to go. So I'm going to let y'all have a coconut smile. So, hey, wag the dog. <laughs> We're talking about government and dogs. Wag the dog. Sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry. Just I got to do that to the title. Sorry. It's, it's government and dogs. Wag the dog. Gotta go. Take care. Adios. Arrivederci.